My name is Nora Hodgson and I'm a 13 from New York City and I'm an engineering major modified with studio art. My focus for studio art is on the creative process. So right now I've taken a pretty wide range of studio art classes. I've done drawing one and sculpture one and I found that I really enjoy drawing and drafting because I sort of take a lot of different steps to the process. So I'll look at a drawing of a still life, for example, and I'll do a really rough sketch of it. And then I'll look at it again and I'll go back and then I'll refine the lines. So that's sort of what my focus is in studio art. My parents sort of encouraged me to do a lot of creative processes, a lot of art projects with my brothers. And I think that definitely carried through into college. I think engineers would benefit a lot from having an art background because it's sort of another way to tackle a situation or an assignment. A lot of the times when you have a product design class, you have to think of a lot of different points of view when you're making a product. So you have to think, well, this is what will make sense. This is how we can build it the most efficiently. These, this is the resources we have. And then you sort of have to think from the consumer's end, you know, what is pleasing to me aesthetically, because you're not just making a clunky piece of machinery. You're making something that someone is going to want to interact with. And I think that there's a lot of process and diligence that comes with making a piece of art that I think is very particular to engineering as well. And I think the two come together very nicely in something like architecture, which has a lot to do with the aesthetics of a design, but also the practicality of design. Engineering as a major was really wonderful for me because I got to take the math classes and take solid mechanics, which was one of my favorite classes. But at the same time, I really like the release of going and making something in my studio art classes and sort of see how I can take the very practical side, the more mathematical side, and fuse that with the artistic side. And I think that those two come together really nicely in a lot of classes at Dartmouth.